Hello and welcome to this uh, rather short video but uh, quite an important one on the implementation of MPE within Stringlab. Now for those of you that are not familiar with MPE it stands for MIDI Polyphonic Expression and is a relatively new specification based on the MIDI standard allowing instruments to behave more like acoustic instruments so players can modulate parameters like timber, pitch and amplitude all at the same time. Now in order to use MPE you need some kind of hardware or software MPE controller or keyboard and MPE needs to be enabled within Stringlab itself and we do this via the settings menu. So by turning on MPE we are actually bypassing the normal pitch range uh, of uh, Stringlab and it will be set to uh, 48 semitones by default. Now many of these controllers output CC74 uh, which can actually be mapped to either the uh, mod uh, wheel or the uh, breath controller and I will explain that later. And you will also want to enable channel after touch which can also be mapped to CC1 the mod wheel or CC2 the breath controller uh, and Stringlab will process those internally. Now if you look at the articulation section in Stringlab you'll see now we have an additional button in the header of uh, that section which toggles between CC1 and CC2 settings. So depending on the position of this switch we can now assign uh, any function within Stringlab within this menu to CC1 and if we flip the switch we can now assign uh, any uh, item within this menu to the breast controller and those CC1 and CC2 were referenced when we set up the uh, options in the settings menu so in setup we can redirect after touch and CC74 to either CC1 or CC2 now for those of you that don't own an MPE controller or want to go into uh, the trouble of buying one uh, we can also use a piece of software like this Velocity Keyboard from Blue Mangoo. Now although this has been around for a long time uh, it's a very nifty and reliable uh, software alternative to go in and buying a piece of, of hardware. And the great thing is it supports AUV3 so we could use this to control Stringlab in AUM. <laughs> And now we get the advantage of multi-channel pitch bend. So if you're on a budget and want to try out MPE, uh, I can recommend Velocity Keyboard highly enough. Um, it's available on the App Store, $9.99 I believe. And the one killer feature of this app, the harder you hit the notes, the louder the sound. And those volume swells there were uh, done just by sliding my finger in a Y direction on the individual pads. So I'll just give you a run through of the settings that I've used within Velocity Keyboard. I've got it on MPE Guitar as the preset. Um, it's uh, MPE Mode 4, so it's one uh, channel per string. And Pitch Bend by default is set to 48 whenever you enable MPE Mode. So that's pretty self-explanatory and I've got to channel after touch set to the Y uh, coordinate so uh, as I move my finger up and down on each of those uh, pads uh, it changes the uh, sends after touch messages to Stringlab now if we take a look at the settings within Stringlab you'll see here I've got CC74 mapped but I don't need to I can turn that off it was doing nothing um, you can see the channel after touch is on enabled and we can map that after touch 
to say CC1 if we wanted and then on the uh, articulation menu we can say what that after touch now controls in other words I can pick something like noise level so that's just about it for this short video on MPE support now I'm hoping to bring this same support to Cophead soon so uh, look out for that so don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, thumb up this video and I will see you next time